Michigan Constitution Crusader out here at Menard Correctional out here in Illinois with spanky pants. You're going to see what they think. <laughs> right? We were told by a guard at a Casey's gas station that its shift changed at 11 o'clock and that the, the new shift comes starts coming in at 11 or 10. So that's why we're here. He's armed. Bet they're pulling in here. Bet you're right. Yep. <laughs> He's gonna lose his shit. We did the last one up here. Smells like pork bellies. Yeah. <laughs> Not even that cold beer. It's just that nip and get me. <sighs> Feels good. I know it does. It feels great. But I'm just not dressed for the occasion. Right. Damn. What's that? That one van of theirs is tacoed at the back. Holy shiza. Wait, is it tacoed or is that just the light hitting it just right now? It looks tacoed. Oh man, last time I was here, dude, it was no. I couldn't see in the cell houses. Oh yeah. You can totally see in the cell houses. Wow, oh, that's a trip. Isn't it? Right? Yeah. You ain't late yet. I think this is, I think this is a south house. Sub off, I think. There we go. Now I'm acclimating. See some movement in that guard tower. Oh yeah, they're man. This is maximum yeah. security. That one over there looks dark. Yeah, it's dark, but trust me, there's somebody in there. Look, a little shivery, but it's getting better. Right. Well, there's somebody coming out. Not to us, just probably going to their car to leave. Yep. Because they got their lunch, or their lunch box, it looks like. Let's see if they got Ming Ling here. Yeah. Could be hiding Ming Ling here. It could be hiding Ming Ling, Ming Ling here. I think we might have found it.
the hell? It's a white shirt. Yeah, it's a white shirt. Mm-hmm. Oh. Stinks over here. Yeah. Well, here comes another one. Oh, he's going to park over there where it says no parking. That there's the van. Oh, there's those white shirts again. Silent treatment to him. Show don't turn on. Okay. Well, they're coming out to talk to us. I mean, we could always you walk that way, me walk this way. Good. As soon as they start talking, just ignore them and start walking opposite yeah. direction. Real good. Okay.
Yeah, yeah we got contact. Uh, yeah, Tim Four. There's uh, seven of them out here. Eight of them. Seven. Seven of them out here. Tim Four. Uh, affirmative. They did attempt to question. They were shut down immediately. Copy that. Well, you might want to scoot over this way a little bit more so you're not considered blocking the entrance. Right? All them plate numbers. Every one of them. Yeah. Our guy can run all the plates for us and we'll get all the names. That's right. They're so butt hurt.
sounds like they're having fun in there. Yeah, it does. Probably playing dice or something. Five oh. Copy. How are you? <laughs> Another one rolling up. Copy.
That's car number 80. Yeah. It's car number 80. Need something? No. Okay, well, I'm trying to have a phone conversation. Good for you. Wait. No, yeah, we're not over the line. He looked. <laughs> he looked. He was standing in the road. Yep. Oh, another one. City of Chester the Molester. I'm up to six foot one and a half. I got a light. This guy didn't want to verbalize anything either. Yeah, but we're not public service. Well, I'm not a public service. Yes, you are. Are you silly? So what do you guys do? You are a public servant. You get paid by tax dollars, right? What do you guys do? Just like these guys? Well, I don't know how they get paid. Oh, okay. By tax dollars. Okay, so what do you guys do? Just like you. Six foot one and a half. Okay, then I'm done answering questions too. Excuse me. Did you fart? Huh? Did you fart? I think he did. Yeah, he said excuse me. Like three times. This guy, he's ashamed of his name. You don't tell nobody. You didn't tell me nothing. You didn't say anything. Yeah, it's on your vest, but nobody can see that in the dark, dude. But you didn't say anything, and you're in the dark, and they couldn't see your shirt, you dumbass. Jackass. Jeez. Fucking trick cop. Did that one leave his cat open? Uh, no, I walked by now. Oh, okay. There was not even a cat in there. Oh, there's a cat in this one and this one. Oh, okay. I'm gonna look, it's a mass education of idiots. It's really none of their business why I'm here. Exactly. I'm not one of their inmates. He's calling his boss. Uh -huh. Or maybe he's calling the sheriff. The ones that are actually supposed to be uh, constitutional. Right. Because these guys aren't even supposed to exist. Right. They're a flaw in the system. He said he's not a public servant. Yeah. <laughs> Fucking tool. Does the mayor pay him directly out of his pocket? He must. <laughs> But the mayor's a public servant. Maybe he gets paid in blowjobs. Oh, yeah. Could be. Good. Dum, dum, dum. I don't know that exhaust is pretty warm, though. Yeah. <laughs> is this another squad? Maybe. I doubt it. You would think, but you never know. No, that's a white shirt, though. Uh, I guess we could. Huh. Oh, they're probably going to follow us. Some of them, anyway. Yeah. The gang's all here. Dang, did you leave anybody inside to guard the prisoners? They're probably all like, yes, an opportunity to get outside and get fresh air. All the 11 to 7 employees right here, all the 3 to 11 are going to stay overtime. Right. Just watch the inmates while these guys jack around. Well, these might be the 7 to 11. Right. I don't know. I don't know. What time is it? Oh, no, it's 11 for, 1044. 10.44, yeah. So it could be. Education, 
It makes their butt hurt. Yes, it does. They're feeling the pain. He says, I'm out of here. He's gone. Like 40 going north. Right? He got chicken legs. Mm. He must have skipped leg day one too many times. Yep. So you know you can run away from that one. Get that one down. Mister, I'm not proud of my name. Drive of shit. The state police. I thought the state police were the ones that had jurisdiction here. Yeah, you think? That's what that sheriff deputy said the other night. <clears throat> this isn't even in the city. Nope. Outside the city. Mm -hmm. So what the hell are they doing here? Mm -hmm. Running point for the sheriff, maybe. Yeah, it must be. Well, last time I was here, Chester PD showed up. Oh, did they? Mm -hmm. Sure did. Maybe they got a contract with the prison mm -hmm. to show up for emergencies. Maybe. He's probably looking for our car. The guy in the van's probably going to show him where it's at. Right, right. <laughs> okay. The back to that. Nope, they're driving up to the front door. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe they're gonna go over security footage. You ready to go walk up here? Yeah. Key fob has left the vehicle. <laughs> Eighty six thousand five hundred fifty one miles on it. Eighty six thousand five hundred fifty one. Yeah. Right. I love these lions. Those are kind of cool. Oh yeah, they got it lit up. For our viewing pleasure. Yeah. <clears throat> Interesting. Cool. And there he goes. Yep. And we'll try and locate our vehicle. Didn't it right there? Huh? Didn't it right there? Just a little bit further. No, right there where he's at. Right about there. Yeah. I made sure to park it in between two SUVs. Mm -hmm. So it's less conspicuous. Right. <laughs> <coughs> They're so mad. Oh, yeah. We wouldn't talk to them. Mm -hmm. That cop got pissed. He left his window down and I walked right up there. <laughs> to his car and stuck my camera right up I there. I heard think, what are you doing? Fully ignored him. <laughs> nice. Put his light on. <laughs> he ignored that. <laughs> oh, these guys are funny. He was super butter. Everybody's all serious and we're just having a good time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Oh, we got ta we got Taylor. Of course we do. They've been assigned to us. Yep. Well, sure beats uh, walking in the cell house, don't it, boys? Right. At least out here, you ain't got to worry about getting beat up. And fresh air, too. Right, fresh air, too. Don't sound like that. a stinky, nuts. sweaty ass. Right, nuts. Yep. And blown up toilets. Right. See, now, see, the, the, the relieving shift has went in. Now the other shift should be coming <coughs> in. Right. This is a, a cool ass prison now. Is it? Yeah. Kind of like shirt. Yeah. Here goes the poke one. Yeah. Oh. oh. That one's 
juicy. You stepped on a barking spider, right? Eh? Yeah. Make Glad there's a breeze. We can smell breath. It's gonna stink. Hey, we got the guys out of the cell house. Get some fresh air. First, I was shivering. I really was. It took me a minute back on eight. We've been in 90 degree weather all weekend, sweltering. Yep. All the way from Camp Lejeune to here. Camp Lejeune. Yeah, all took the way my, down to here. Yeah. yeah. Took my kid One dropped trip? him off at the Marines. Still. He's a big boy now. <laughs> Do you happen to know what year this was built? 1888 or something like 88 that. 88 or 86. Yeah. So I was I was in there 30 years ago. As uh, an inmate. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, look at you now. I know, right? See? I was here in 94 and 95. I was That's here when good. John Wayne Gacy was on death row. Okay. Before they offed him. Way before my time. Oh, yeah? <laughs> Way before my time. My cousin <laughs> used to work here. Oh, really? Yeah. How long ago? Uh, man, I couldn't tell you. He was dietary. Um, and then Elbow McGee, did you know him? Mm -hmm. I, I know him real well. He was okay. great friends with my dad. I'll be done. Yeah, I know. He, Elbow was working here when I was here. So you ain't far from here where you're from. Well, I live in Michigan now. In, well, now? Yeah. But grew up born and raised in southern Illinois. It's cold yeah. up there, ain't it? You know what? It's been mild. It really has. But mm -hmm. the whole time we've been up there until this weekend, it was 90 degrees up there. We get down here, it's 60 up there and 90 down here. Yeah. It's like, what the f- Yeah, we've been, man, it's been so humid and just- It swallowed you. It's, it's horrible. Yeah, it did. Yeah, tonight's real nice. That's why we like, yeah. came out at night so we could get, get some relief from the heat. Yeah, yeah. it is a nice night. I, I think this prison is so cool. How many beds does this prison have? Oh, I I couldn't tell you exactly how many beds it, it has. Do you happen to know? No. I don't you don't know how many inmates you have here? Not something you keep tabs on. That's for administration, huh? <laughs> Alrighty then. When's the last time you guys were on lockdown? Right now. <laughs> right now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was a good one. It was. <laughs> it's why, probably why, the truth. Why do they freak out over people with cameras? <coughs> I I wouldn't say it's freaking out as far as it is, you know, keeping the security of the institution, and for sure. you all have seen the news, seeing what goes on in the prison, and just make sure we look at every avenue. What news are you talking yeah. about? Maybe we haven't seen it. I may not have, yeah. So, well, I don't, I don't watch much up. news now. Well, what's the latest thing that happened here? Well, I'm not the public relations officer, so I, oh, I better I better. Don't want to speak out of turn. I got that. All right. Cool. You, got, you got to cover your own ass. Well, how about the latest thing that you know was in the news? That way it's not something you're not supposed to say. I don't watch the news. Oh, okay. There we go. Me neither, man. <laughs> Me neither. It's mostly lies. Uh, well, I wouldn't say as much lies as just too much negativity for me. I'm well, it's always slanted, too. Yes, yeah, one way or another. Yeah. You know, and I mean, that's it's never human, just, you know, the raw news. They always slant it one way or the other. Man, it quieted down in there. Must be their bedtime. It was loud earlier. Is that all stone brick, or does it just look like stone? No, it's all stone. It's stone. Is it's it? Stone. Oh yeah, it's stone. <laughs> That's cool. Yeah, this place looks ominous. From you know what I mean? Just passing by and looking at it. Joliet looks more ominous. Jo yeah, it does. <laughs> you bet it's closed though. Right. <laughs> Really? Yeah. Oh, cool. You might get out here a minute. That's all right. That's cool. I got the jacket on. The longer time, longer out here, the less you got to be in there. Uh huh. It don't bother me in there. Oh, okay. It, it don't bother. Me. Cool. Here I come. Everybody going home. Yeah. Time to go home. Filing out. He's down there running plates on all the vehicles. <laughs> 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 Teletypes are going off everywhere right now. Yep, yep. <laughs> That's funny.
clear if he found what he was looking for. Find what you were looking for? <laughs> he didn't tell me his name like he was like ashamed of it or something. The other guy had to tell me his name. Right? Yeah. And how unprofessional is that? Barry. Barry. Yep. And I can ram. No, exhaust manifolds. Oh, it's a Ford. Ford. <laughs> you know that sound well, do you? Mm-hmm. I've replaced so many manifolds on my Fords, it's ridiculous. Nice truck. Yeah, buddy. Nothing to worry about. We ain't gonna come on the property. We ain't trying to break nobody out. Yep, we know better. <laughs> I got I nothing. To, I got <laughs> nothing to throw over. <laughs> <in>. <laughs> you're, you're to get back in. You guys ever give tours? Oh, really? Right. But you guys used to do tours. Uh, they used to a long time ago. Wow. Well, I don't know. In the 90s, did they used to have the softball tournaments, baseball tournaments? I don't know. Not that I recall. I don't, I don't remember when they got rid of them. But. I was only here like three months. Then went to Shawnee. Shawnee's nice. It was all right. Compared to this. It was, yeah, compared to this, yeah, it was all right. Then I got a job in the kitchen there, so that was yeah. better. Just went from there to minimum to work release. Another dodge for you. Yep. I like my ramp. You got a flatbed.
Are you left the one that don't talk with my friend that loves to talk? I'm not happy about it. <laughs> I, I'm hard here. And uh, I heard he say something about leave me with the one that don't talk. And he was still talking, but I couldn't make out what he was saying. Because <laughs> he likes to talk, so that guy's... <laughs> What's that? Are you in Michigan as yep, well? Yep, out by Lansing. I've only been there one time. Right. This is the first time I've been out here. We was in Missouri earlier. I like Missouri. It's yeah, it's pretty cool over there. Nice place. Got a good video of the arch. We got there too late, so we couldn't ride up in it. But oh, really? We'll get back here again. Oh yeah? Well, that's cool. Maybe I'll have to bring the family down and go over there. My old lady's pissed that we went to <laughs> St. Uh, yeah. Oh, excuse me. Went to the arch without her. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> Been wanting to go to St. Louis. She's like, you're out having all that fun and leave me at home with your daughter. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. 15 years old, you know, she's a strong headed little shit. But hey, she gets straight A's. I'm not bitching. Yeah, they know yeah. You remember yeah. what that was like? Oh, yeah. Why'd you leave me with Lieutenant? <laughs> <laughs> I don't like him. I was just telling him, man, you left the other guy with the guy that loves to talk. <laughs> you did, man. That guy's a real knob, man. He don't want, I am trying to be nice. Everything, he don't want to talk or nothing. Like he got the truck. Gargling balls and shit. Can't talk. Try to be nice. This right. guy's nice. I like this guy. I bet the inmates like you a lot, don't they? Uh, I don't usually have any issues. That's good to hear. Yeah, because you're a friendly kind of guy. You're right. not, you know, Treat a with dick. Respect. Treat him with respect. <laughs> Lieutenant and they Paul's give you a reason. Down there, don't. I guarantee he fucking don't treat inmates well. But I won't put you on the record saying anything bad about him. I'll say it all. Uh, I like the guy. You like the guy? <laughs> His dude. own wife don't like him. Super good dude. <laughs> <laughs> I just like to bust balls, man. Oh, there ain't nothing wrong with that. Everybody gets so offended over my legs sometimes. I'm like, I'm just busting your balls, man. Come on. Don't take it personal. <laughs> That's part of the problem today. Isn't it? It is. They take things way too personal. Yes, they do. I would agree. Just like us being here, they're taking it all personal because now he's got to be out here instead of doing what he wanted to do. and. Watching TikTok on his phone. Taking it personal, I mean. Oh, okay. Right. You guys, this is your job. This is what you do. Yeah. We have a job. It's the security and safety of the institution, security of the institution. Absolutely. But how long does it take for you guys to determine if we're a threat to security or not? Well, I wouldn't say it's whether to determine if you're a threat to anybody or or state property. It's just to ensure it's, it's not. Oh, okay. Okay, so, question for you. Do you know how far the e public easement goes off the side of the road? I do not. I, really? I'm not I, sure what it is in I, Illinois. I do not. A, a, it should a, be a minimum of 15 30, feet minimum, from the center line. Yeah. yeah a I minimum. From the center line, I, I don't know. I know uh, in Michigan it's 33 feet from center. It's got to be further than 15 feet because from a center line... 15 feet over, you're barely off the road. Yeah, no, yeah. that gives you about 5 feet. About the five lanes feet. are about 10 foot wide. Yep. About 10, okay. Yep. Michigan, it's 33 feet from center. I'm not sure about Illinois. Yeah. But uh, I know I'm, as long as I'm close to the fog line, I'm good. I'm not 100%. <laughs> right. You got to know these things, man. Well, you make me nervous. Why? Out here at night in a black shirt. <laughs> that makes you nervous? Well, as far as getting hit by vehicles. Oh, I'm oh good, man. They can see my shorts. Can you read what my shirt says? You put a lot of faith in people. I do. I really do. <laughs> can, can more you, than I should. Can you read what my shirt says? Uh, Here, I'll step a little closer so you can read it. This is 
You like that? Very good. <laughs> Go to the hole puncher. <laughs> Since we're redefining everything. That's right. That's right. Might as well. Join. If you can't beat them, join them. Right. We'll just redefine everything. Yeah, I'm not carrying a firearm. It's a hole puncher. That's right. <laughs> Heck yeah. Hole punchers are nice. Tools can be used for multiple things. That's right. That's right. You know, I got a, I, I have a cordless nail gun that's just as dangerous as a pistol. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. I put a 16 penny into somebody's head, no problem with it. I'm more dangerous with a bow and arrow than I am a gun. Oh, yeah. Because that's a silent killer. Yeah. Bow and <laughs> arrows are nice. You don't know it's coming until it hits you. That's right. That's right. <laughs> I asked him if he wanted to come for a walk with me, but he didn't. <laughs> I was like, come on, puppy. Do I need to put the leash on you? Let's go for a walk. Here we go. <laughs> That's why he didn't want to come. Well, no, I asked him if he, if he was going to walk with me first, and he just ignored me and didn't answer me. Oh. <laughs> but I guess I kind of had it coming, because when they walked up to us, we didn't answer them. That's true. Yeah. Tip for tat, right? Yeah. That's Here, awesome. you want a little squeaky pig? We give them to all the good guys. What is it? It's a squeaky pig. I can't take it in. Oh, okay. Oh, that's right. You can't. No. Only drugs, right? Yeah, that would be. Con no. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be considered contraband, I'm sure. Just set it on the hood of your boss's right, car before you go in. Drug problem here. I don't know if it'd be a drug problem. But yeah. Contraband problem, well, right? One of the COs I seen up there in, in a little town of Casey said that they had a bad drug problem. He said he was on his way to the hospital to look after somebody. I would say the, the best avenue would be to get hold of that public relations lady with the uh, state of Illinois. Mm -hmm. Right. Uh, they'll have an official statement. An official statement. <laughs> that leaves half the information out. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> Just you know, for your request, drug overdoses in the prison. That'll right. get you more information when than I the public information out there would. I was here in the South south house and my celly was a latin king he worked in the kitchen and we went on lockdown because a guy in the north house being the officer in the head with a chili can and a sock so he shut, locked everything down and i think it was about a week later they started letting the kitchen workers go back to work so he was a kitchen worker and he went to work well during that week he made a he made a, a zip line to send up and down the gallery to get all of his goodies for bats of hooch sure. <laughs> and he made a batch of hooch and he stuck it under the bed and he went to work and here come the COs, bust the door down, they're like shakedown, cuff me to the rail to go in and the officer goes in and they only looked in two places. He got down on his knees, looked under the bed, seen the box, walked over to the vent, shined his light in the vent where, where my celly had a piece of copper tubing, turned around and walked out said he's good, stuck me back in my cell. Oh wow. Yeah, that's what I said. <laughs> I was for sure I was going to the hole. I was almost positive I was going to the hole. And he's like, he's good. And I'm like, shit. The celly came back. I'm like, dude. He's like, well, we're cooking this off tonight. So we spent all night cooking off that, smoking weed, watching the, the institution channel. <laughs> <laughs> I can talk about it now. <laughs> right, right, right. Statute of limitations. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's We've right. gone a long time ago. <laughs> yeah, 30 years ago, baby. Get me for it now. 23 years too late for that. I can tell you what, I learned a lot in prison. I uh, sure did. You know, it, it's, the prison system is a, a community. Oh, yeah. And there's, there's <coughs> very ingenuitive people that oh, are there. There is. Oh, yes. That there is, man. I, I've seen guy, people in prison do shit I didn't think was possible. Yeah. Blow, blew my mind. <laughs> Here comes your ride. No. He ain't, he ain't stopping. He ain't stopping. He ain't either. Oh, he gotta get gas. No, he's just driving through there. Oh, maybe he is getting gas. He gotta get gas. Yeah. He don't eat. Nope, he's just nope. driving through. I was wrong again, dang it. <laughs> now we gotta go into town and mess with those Chester cops some more. <laughs> <laughs> Play hide and seek in town. <laughs> <laughs> I just love messing with cops. It's so much fun. We were out in where was that? Saint uh, 
I think it was St. Charles, wasn't it? No, not St. Charles. Uh, St. Louis. St. Louis, we Michigan. St. Louis, Michigan, yeah. And there was a cop that started following us. So we whipped around and we got in behind him and started following him around. <laughs> he was freaking out. It was hilarious. He was speeding to get away from us. He was like, nah, uh. <laughs> Ended up losing us, didn't he? Yeah, he did. Yeah. We were going to speed to try to keep up with him, but. Yeah. No, absolutely. Not hoping enough. we would do. Are you guys familiar with the uh, GoPros and Insta360? Yep. Mm-hmm. Which one's better? Insta 360. 360. 360 yeah, yep. Insta360. Hands down. <laughs> <laughs> now the GoPro is nice. It, it all depends on what you're doing with it, you know. Yeah. Right. I know when I was here three years ago, I was out here, and they they had a drone out here watching me. Oh. Somebody did. Well. <laughs> Somebody had a drone out here. Now I might have to go in. <laughs> <laughs> He'll go in and then they'll launch the drone and go they'll just be hovering. The we'll just watch him this way. It'll be all right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, they, yeah, that's because I came, a guard come out. I oh, here comes him, your puppy. I told him a few choice words. The cops showed up. The cops left. He went back in and I was hanging out. And next thing I know, there's a drone flying around. I was like, huh, cool. <laughs> Here's the puppy. Oh, there's my puppy. How you doing, buddy? came to see me looking for a scooby snack i got scooby snacks <laughs> i do have scooby snacks they are delicious i don't know if you should eat them they might have weed in them <laughs> i got uh, beef jerky in the he car he came down here because he wanted to sit down that's what it was yeah oh that was a squeaker that was a squeaker a drunk mouse on a harley yeah <laughs> He's already down the road. His you exhaust stinks. Huh? You got a Harley? No. Did you hear that drunk mouse on the Harley? I, I did. Oh, okay. <laughs> did you smell the exhaust? It's horrible. Did, uh, <laughs> <laughs> what do you call a Harley with no wheels? Oh, I don't know what. A groundhog. A groundhog. <laughs> <laughs> I like that one. Yeah, that's kind of funny. Knock, knock. Who's there? Nobody. Nobody wants you here. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait. Rectum stretcher. Oh, yeah. He'll get a kick out of that yeah, one. Yeah. <laughs> so, top, I'm coming across this bridge. <coughs> I was coming down the bridge, and I was going a little too fast, and this cop pulled me over. He walked up to the window, and we was conversating. He asked me what I did for a living. I told him I was a rectum stretcher. He's like, what? I was like, yeah, I'm a rectum stretcher. First, I get one finger in, two fingers in two hands in and I start stretching that asshole out to about six feet. He says, well, what in the hell are you going to do with a six foot asshole? I said, put him in a police car, give him a fucking radar gun and put him at the end of a bridge. <laughs> <laughs> I'd say that didn't go so well. <laughs> I told a cop that he didn't like my joke. I'd say not. <laughs> do, do you like them redneck jokes? Of course. That one uh, where you got the flat tire? Okay. It, uh, he, I don't know that one. He gets a flat tire, and a cop pulls up behind him and asks him, Oh, you got a flat? And he goes, Nope. The other three just swelled right up on me. <laughs> and and I couldn't believe it. A cop pulled up on me when I had a flat tire and said that, and I gave him the joke, and he about fucking lost it. <laughs> it was great, dude. <laughs> I was like, nope, other three just swelled right up on me. <laughs> that's funny shit right there. <laughs> oh, that is funny. Look at my wife checking on me. She's such a good woman. Keep her then. Mine's yeah, sleeping. Well, she's worried about if I'm in jail or not. <laughs> <laughs> not yet. Not yet, not ever. <laughs> we don't break the law. We don't give them a reason to lock us up. But when they make, break the law, they pay. Oh, absolutely. Or if they I got a chief law, of police fired. Or if they try to violate. Right? Yeah, yep. he sure did. Three and, days after he unlawfully arrested him and then won a $90,000 lawsuit. Yeah. He said on camera, I don't give a fuck about your rights. I'm not politically correct. Take that and shove it up your ass. Yeah. <laughs> it's not good. He, well, I mean, he thought he had shut my camera off. Yeah. 
Doesn't sound like he was lying. Mm -mm. No, he definitely <laughs> wasn't lying. And I'm still living rent free in his head. Yeah, Me and him went by his house two years later. Fuck, he threw a conniption fit. It was hilarious. And they went and lied to police and tried to get him charged with uh, stalking. stalking. Yeah. First time I ever went by his house, we stayed on the public road. Didn't go near his house. <laughs> so you guys travel all over. Oh, yeah. We try as much as possible. What's the anyway. furthest you've been? Right now, South Carolina or North Carolina. Yeah. Well, I've been to Florida that one time. Oh, yeah, you did go to Florida. Yeah. I, I haven't went that far record. I mean, I've been all over the country when I drove a semi truck, but I didn't do this then. It's a shame. It would have been awesome. <laughs> <laughs> do it while you're driving? No, 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 not while I'm driving. I watch movies while I drive. <laughs> What's that? That sounds a lot safer. It, it is. absolutely is. <laughs> Because you're not trying to use both hands to zoom in and out, you know. That's just, right. Yeah, you can watch the movie hands-free. Right. <laughs> <laughs> hard to do that while I'm driving. <laughs> yeah, this, guy, this guy's all right. I like this guy. Now, to do this kind of video, do you use, is that a cell phone yep. that you use? Yep. It's on a, are they iPhones? It's a cell phone on a stick. Cell phone on a stick. <laughs> kind of like a jalapeno on a stick. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this guy just, one phone on a stick, two yep. phones on a stick, three phones on a stick, four phones on a stick. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. <laughs> oh, man. We're too old for this shit, but not really. No. Never too old to have fun. No. I'm too old to be serious all the time. That's right. Man. Yeah, at, this, at this point in our lives... It's too short to not have fun. That's right. Yeah, because I might only have like maybe 10 or 20 years left. Yeah. If I'm lucky. <coughs> I mean, we do this thing when we're driving through towns. Like, if there's people walking down the street with their head down, looking at their phone, we'll roll down the window. Hi! <laughs> Scares the shit out of them. It's hilarious. <laughs> It really is. It's like pulling up on somebody and blowing a train horn. We had one girl, she jumped, I swear, three feet in the air. I think so. Well, who'd be expecting that? Nobody. Exactly. <laughs> and we're not even recording that shit. We're just doing that for fun. No, we don't record that. We just do that for fun. We're just assholes, I guess. Sometimes. Man. I mean, I had to be good at something in life, and I chose asshole. I don't know how that yeah. happened, but... Where are you born, an right? asshole? It does. It really does come natural. I don't know why, but it does. I think my I got my mom's kind of to blame for it. You know? yeah. She's a bigger asshole than I am. My dad's to blame for mine. Oh, yeah. If I drank like him, I'd really be an asshole. Oh, goodness. Fuck. Now, we don't like That's why drink. I don't drink. We don't drink. like the drinky drink. No. Nope. Bad stuff. Just a sip every now and again is okay. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, it's good for you, actually, a little yeah, bit. that's what they say. Yeah. Yeah. I smoke weed. My mom yeah. swears by it, drinks one beer before she goes to bed every single night. Yeah. It's all she ever does. She never drinks more than that. Oh. And how old is she? 77, I think. And still kicking strong. Yep. Oh, man, you can't good and healthy. more than that, right? Right. Heck, yeah. You enjoying this weather, Lieutenant? You enjoying this weather? Nah, again, he don't like to talk. Hmm. I mean, he might be mute. No, I, I get, heard I him did say get a few something. Words out yeah. of him. I did get a few words out of him. Do you want us to leave? Or do you want to stay and keep you out here? You enjoying this that much? Yeah, but you really have to be is, in there or out here. Enjoying it. <laughs> <laughs> he says, I don't really care. I go home <laughs> at 7, so... <laughs> I got until well hell let says. me go grab the lawn chairs out of the car we'll just you know yeah get the cool. me one get the <laughs> <laughs> we got lawn chairs uh, but you can't lawn take lawn. it it's contraband that's right well I'm not taking it in oh okay oh, yeah, we're taking it with us yeah, <laughs> yep I think all the inmates went to bed I don't hear them anymore oh no uh, there there, there's are. a few oh, of them 
Maybe they're just my, not as loud. My, my, my mouth's overriding it all. Yeah, pretty it much. Is. I don't know when to shut up, how to shut up or anything. Well, I don't know. Them silent treatment audits we do sometimes are hilarious. Yeah, they are. I can only do it for so long before it just drives me nuts and I got to talk. Right. Because <laughs> I like to talk. Well, don't get in a fight in there, guys. We don't need that. Hear them yelling at each other. Uh-oh. That's okay. not good. Uh, uh. All right, well, heck, we've been here an hour, man. I guess we can get out of here. Yeah. You gentlemen have yourselves a wonderful evening. Try and stay safe in there. Let Stumpy get back his head? Yeah. Don't get beat up or nothing tonight. I hate to hear about that. Like, you can't really get beat up. They're all locked up, ain't they? Yeah, see? It's the safest place to be is inside, really. <laughs> right. Really is. Now I'm feeling a little vulnerable out here. <laughs> <laughs> can I go in? I feel, uh, I feel not feeling, tonight. Huh? Not tonight. Oh, Maybe if you would have punched one of those cops, you could go in. But <laughs> Well, I wouldn't be going in there. I'd be going somewhere else. <laughs> <laughs> but you'd probably eventually end up in oh, there. Oh, yeah, that I might. Eventually end up in there, yeah. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> We don't want that. I just want to like stay one night, you know, kind of like the Scared Straight program. Well, you already did that once, and it seemed to work. The second time. <laughs> oh, the second time. <laughs> first time, first time didn't work. I was out a year, and that was it. Slower than others. It's okay. That's right. Well, the first time I went to the Impact Incarceration Program. Okay. And all that did was put a big chip on my shoulder. Yeah. You know. So that didn't last long on parole. Made it a year. Too much drinking and partying and shit. And made stupid choices. <laughs> Oops. Oops. Well, as long as that's out of your system. Man. Oh, yeah. I, I got out in 2000. Got off parole in 02 and been out of trouble since. Became a productive member of society. There we go. I was rehabilitated. Yeah. Now we're out educating people on civil rights. In That's a right. very unorthodox and sometimes unorthodox, yeah. assholeish way. But it's effective. Yeah. It's very effective. Whole state of Michigan, they sent out memos about us. The governor did. Oh, sent really? out 50, oh yeah. emails about us. State police has sent out bolos about us. Get, get a hold of one of those and fax it in. <laughs> what, the email? <laughs> <laughs> fax it in here. We'll send it to Menard. Hey, this is who was there. <laughs> <laughs> Just ask the Michigan State Police. They'll tell you who exactly. we are. Yeah, they do. yeah. every time they hear we're around, they send out bolos on us to all the law enforcement within like three freaking counties. Just tell them Spanky and Tater said to fuck off to know exactly who you're talking about. <laughs> no. I told you I'm hard hearing. It's who? Spanky and Spanky. Tater. Spanky. Oh, Spanky. Yeah. And Tater. He called me Skanky. <laughs> <laughs> I tell, I'm hard hearing. I didn't hear well, if the shoe fits. If the shoe fits, damn it. No, it's actually, it's the gray walrus and silver fox. Yeah. <laughs> no comment. <laughs> uh, they don't seem fitting. Uh, I got all gray hair and I'm fat like uh, a walrus. Or, or, they call us, or they call us Slim and Husky. Slim and Husky. <laughs> <laughs> Like that one? He may not. Yeah. I do. We're trying uh, I'm to husky. We're, yeah. I know. Yeah, he's definitely husky. <laughs> Most of this is scar tissue right here from a car accident. Yeah. Because they slashed me open and put a colostomy in for three months. Oh. And then I've had uh, five hernia surgeries. So this is all scar tissue. So I look like this big fat ass. But my doctor says, there's really not that much fat there. Yeah. That's what them near-death car wrecks will do to you. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I hit, a, you in ICU? I hit a deer, and then a ditch, and then a tree. And when I hit the ditch, I was in a barrel roll, and I was completely upside down six feet off the ground when I slammed into the tree, and then it slammed down on the roof. Uh, I still can't figure out where the fuck it was at inside that truck. <laughs> was it drinking, was it? Nope. Steer, what did you say? The steering wheel was touching the back window of the yeah. truck? Yeah, the braking gas pedal were on top of the bench seat. That's how far it pushed the front end of the truck in. 
That's and the crazy. steering wheel was touching the back window. It's a miracle you survived that. Yeah. If I'd have been wearing my seatbelt, I'd have been decapitated. Oh, shit. For some reason, that's I didn't wear my seatbelt, and I always wear it. That's, some, that's why I always say, you got a 50-50 chance of you wear it or you don't. Yeah. <laughs> really. Sometimes wearing it could be the death of you. And then sometimes wearing it will save your life. Yeah. Like, kind of crazy. All right, man. We're going to get out of here. Let you guys get back after it, man. You guys have a great night. Stay, stay safe in there. Yeah. Catch y'all later. Bye, Lieutenant. Always, brother, always. If you're still here another three years, maybe we'll see you again. Put <laughs> <laughs> hey, yourself, yourself on YouTube. You'll see yourself. Oh, well, I don't need to be on no YouTube. Oh, too late for that. Look it up. A public enemy audit. Gee, that sounds like something I really want to be on. <laughs> but you Everybody could, will love you, dude, honestly. You could get on Michigan Constitutional Crusader and see it. Yeah. <laughs> Everybody will love you, dude. You're awesome. If you look on my channel, you'll see the uh, the one with the Kalamazoo police officer. Oh, he's on the radio. Yeah, he's on the radio. All right, man. I'm out. There's one on my channel with a Kalamazoo, Michigan police officer. And it was hilarious because me and him are standing out in front of a Rally's Burgers. And we're just recording, standing on the sidewalk. And these two cops come up to us, and we start busting out talking about Taco Bell. <laughs> Completely ignoring them, right? And the lady cop keeps asking us questions, and we're completely ignoring her. The male cop, he's over there <coughs> trying not to laugh, you know, because he knows what's up, and he walks away. But she's like, are we not being verbal? <laughs> it was so hard not to bust out laughing when she said that. <laughs> are we not being verbal? And then she she was an idiot and parked her car on in the alley, which is public, and left her cat open. So I walked over to her car and started recording. She comes running across the parking lot. Get away from my car. And I spun around. I'm like, it ain't your car. And we educated the shit out of her. And, man, she felt this big. I'd say so. And her sergeant was like, they're lawful. Yeah. <laughs> she was so mad. Yeah, everybody's human, though. Exactly. Yeah, and we're out to educate both the citizens and the law enforcement yeah. on civil rights. That's what it's all about. Absolutely. Yeah. You know, are we assholes sometimes? Yeah. Hell yes. <laughs> but we're polite when people are polite to us, you know. I said, I think everybody needs an asshole in their life every Absolutely. once in a while. <laughs> I'm my ex-wife that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, fellas. I'm not, I, I got a comment, but I'm going to stop. I'm not going to say good. it. Have a good one, man. Guys. <laughs> oh, that's funny. <laughs> All right, y'all. We're out of here. Catch you on the next one, y'all. <laughs>